fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the Mighty Jacks, Arcane Devices, and Dark Sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Greek mythology rages to life in Mythic Battles Pantheon. Become a god and command heroes and monsters in a battle for Olympus at BeastsOfWar.com. Hello everybody and welcome to What's in the Box today. I'm joined by Darren and Roberto from War Cradle and we're going to be having a look at the Wayward 8. This is one of the most characterful sets from the entire range for me. I love the designs that you've done for them. So we have the gorgeous artwork on the front of Marcus Wayward. All on the back we have a, a quick gander of 3D renders of all the miniatures. And then, now this is something I like that you guys do is the actual box itself, once you actually take the slip case off, has this beautiful wood effect. There's a real quality feel to that. It's nice. Yeah, it's just very nice. little details like that that always catch me. So these, I believe, are... Ah, they're all plastic. They are indeed. Like, we get this. What is this? So that's um, contact and information for us. So if you want to find out any more about what we're doing, it's got all our details on there. It's got the um, instructions. So you just follow the link on there and you can get the instruction guides for building all the models. And if you like to scan QR codes, there's a QR code to take you through as well. Lovely. Uh, we get the bases, we don't, we're not worried about those. We get our cards, we'll give yeah. these to you. And we get our sprue. And oh, somebody said pop off. <laughs> this is how you know it's a good cast whenever you have a piece that actually pops off the sprue and you can't tell where it connected. <laughs> that is very, very <laughs> finely yeah. plastic cast. Yep. Yeah. Right, uh, we will begin. So, uh, who do we have and where are they? So, here we go. So, I'm seeing Flowing River and uh, where am I? <laughs> See, there's so much packed into those sprues, so yeah, there really so is. Flowing River, Marcus Wayward, who is this for? Now, that to me looks like Sun Totem from here. Sun Totem? But I've not got my glasses on, so I could <laughs> be wrong there. Yeah, so we've got the, the legs, we've got uh, Jake Matias, big yeah, blasters Yeah, you, you can't miss his guns. Uh, we've actually got a ponytail. <laughs> yeah, once again, that's uh, part of Sun Totem, that one. Yep. Uh, moving on through, we have all the other legs and bits for the characters. Uh, it's a little hard to pick them out. I love the fact that Marcus Wayward gets a, a chest to yeah, set his foot yeah, on yeah. because you imagine he would have a you know a chest of booty sitting about somewhere. And uh, just moving through, you have a uh, Kfree's wrench, just all the components that you're going to need to put these guys together. And luckily enough, we have them all put together and painted by Darren. Mm -hmm. Right, who would we like to start? You with? pick. You pick. Right. Well, uh, I'm going to open this up because these cards are a print set that come with it. So you can work with these straight out of the box, but yeah. if you want the fully up-to-date ones, you should go to the, the Wild West Actors Yeah, it's, all, it's always worth checking. Always mm. worth checking, because yeah. it might just be a minor tweak to a stat, or, or you know, it may well be after more sort of feedback we've had from the community that certain yeah. points values need to be tweaked. So it's well worth checking, but you can use them straight from the box with the cards yeah. you've got. Well, I mean, like, for your friendly games, rock on. Yeah. If you're going to like a tournament, go get them a download. Yeah, would give be my advice. Give them a check. All right, so we have the Wayward Ape theme posse card, which we've, we've talked about with Stu. So this is basically telling you what way you're going to actually build up your force. Yeah. And on the other side, we have the, the faction posse for them as well. So this just tells you how you're going to build if you want to expand yeah. beyond what rules you really need to follow. Yeah. All right, uh, let's start with the man himself, Mr. Marcus Wayward. Okay, so he's so, a beast. Yeah, uh, we do have a game of the Wayward 8 versus the Deadly 7 on its way. And uh, yeah, having him on the tabletop, you feel he has some insane presence to yeah, him. So yeah. weapons-wise, is really cool. He also has uh, one rule which I really, really like playing with, which was the treasure hunter rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which gets you an extra glory guts card. Yeah, it gives you an hand. extra adventure card. So yeah, um, which yeah. is just so handy sometimes. It is. Uh, the the paint job is fabulous, and actually catching a heroic pose like this with the the heavy cloak or the heavy. <laughs> coat being blown up behind him it really adds to the feel and flavor of the character yeah. uh roberto what were your think, thoughts whenever you were designing the way really? uh, well i mean the obviously um looking at the the, all, the whole set all, there's a great variety but um and, and it, they're all very characterful mm. and how do you make the 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 leader you know um stand out mm -hmm. so um, well that's it it, it looked like it's, it felt like a um, very simple but very effective way of of achieving that um the, the chest is it, it may even have like a, a subliminal message or a metaphorical message again it's uh, not necessarily his booties as you say but it might be his knowledge his 
his yeah. way uh, contains his 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 way of, con of of actually being the leader of all these very mm. uh, self sufficient characters. Yeah, very diverse characters too. Very diverse characters, and yeah, the, 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 there you have it. It's it, it's yeah. got his heroic pose because he's he's the guy that doesn't you know. Yeah. But he looks comfortable and at ease. Yeah, he's comfortable in his that, position. He's been there for a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you come to someone like Flowing River, and it's the the Beautiful. classic combat yeah. pose, ready just to chop you into tiny little bits of Wild West sushi. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to, yeah, excellent. Are we going to be able to appropriate that? That's well, I mean, with, with, with her, um, once again, I wish I'd had a week to paint because that is one of the most gorgeous models I've ever had to paint. You've got mm. lots of smooth skin areas. You've mm. got lots of uh, metallics for your non-metallic metal or normal metallics effects. Mm. But um, and the even, background for her is wicked. Like the, the leather work on the clothing yeah. could be very, very fun to do. Yeah. I, I like the, the sort of washed out look that you've done even for this tabletop uh, paint job that you've done. It just it makes her look a little bit less human, a little bit more ethereal. Yeah. Because she is an alien. Which yeah, is quite yeah. interesting. Com yeah. Complements the, the the flow that goes into throughout her her, mm -hmm. her pose, her move as well, and, and how she will act on on a on, on a Oh yeah. Field. Yeah. So that's yeah, no, totally well done. Now. Yeah. We then have Hicks Kincaid, which is a very soldierly business like pose that he's been put into, and then the the flash of green. It he almost feels like a mechanic who has been forced into being a soldier. Yep. Yeah. Which is such a nice thing to have within the the actual posse, and then we have his wife. Oh, I forget her first name. That is Zerelda. Zerelda, yes. And again, very very strong pose, very business like, very ready just to step oh, yeah. out and oh, yeah. get what you need to do done. Uh, we then come to Sun Totem. Now this guy, when you look at him on paper, you've told me a few times now, Darren. He doesn't look amazing on paper, but no. when you actually get him going, it's actually quite crazy some of the stuff that he can do. Yeah, I mean, one of the key things with him is he, he projects a bubble of tough around himself. So yeah. he's the guy that fixes the wayward eight's wounds. He patches them together after a battle. And when you've got them surrounding him and tough working, they, mm. they are unstoppable. Yeah, and then the actual sculpt itself really brings that, that feeling across because you've got all the sort of medical implements yeah. and stuff strapped onto the front of him. Uh, if we get a close look, just, you've got his little stethoscope and all the little accoutrements yeah. on there. And his doctor's bag just hanging down See, the that's, side of it. That's that's one of the many challenges that that we need to go through is when it, it, when the concept art has been worked out and it's been all approved and everything, mm -hmm. and it, it may look uh, as beautiful as you want, mm -hmm. but you have to make sure that all that that meaning mm -hmm. has, it, it goes across the sculpting. And you know, it's, some things they may not look as um, so Im impactful on mm. the 2d but then as you say you put it on a, on a sculpt mm. and then you paint it and then you actually achieve an even better level mm. than you would have had or you have uh, mm. through the 2d uh, concept then that that's mm. that's a great success yeah basically. and then you have some elements that are going into the miniature which are very subtle as well so mm. even like seeing the little stethoscope because the first time i looked at them i didn't notice it yeah. And then when I look back, thinking, "Oh, he's a doctor," so I know he's a doctor. Oh, right, he's got this. Yes, one another thing is that it, each each character, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, um, it it has to tell a story, mm -hmm. and um, from 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 brief to concept to sculpting to to, to manufacturing to painting, when it, it, it's as you said, it's like you had a second look at the character and you found out about certain certain things about him. Yeah, and then those little so, those little details you you, you, you like it's like you you learn. Mm. Um, Every time you play, every time you pick it up, every time you and and you learn more, more and more about that character, and that and that, that that's depth to to yeah. to you know to to a different level. Yeah. Now we then have the monster himself, Jake yeah, Mattia. Yeah. This man is basically ready to level the entire place around him, and the pose it is that come and have a go if you think you're hard enough pose, with just really just a rock and roll. Like uh, any special rules on this guy that would really jump out at you, Darren? Well, he's, he's, he's just your gun man. I yeah. mean, he, he's rocking the Link Gatling guns there. So, um, I mean, he's he's going to suffer from the heavy quality. So he's, he's not going to be able to run around the table blapping off. But he's the kind of guy that you, you get him into position, you mm. stick him on the lookout, and you, you are saying, come on. Yeah. I yeah. dare you. Get closer. <laughs> and then the, the games, we, we'll, yeah, you, you'll see what happens. Yeah, yes, we won't yeah. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, we then have the next one, which is Sierra. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Sierra um, Icarus right there. This is a very sensual character that you've designed here. There's the the light cloth clothing and stuff, but 
just still having weaponry and stuff around makes her seem like very much the femme fatale character of the yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, and, and essentially, yeah. Just very, very beautifully done. And that, the skin tones you've done on this look really beautiful as well, Darren. Lovely, thank you. I mean, from I'm going to pass off all of that. I'm going to accept nothing because this this comes down to what Brandon's done with the sculpt, I think. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, as you're spinning that round, mm. You can start at the bottom point of her cloak, and as you turn it round, you're literally following a spiral around the entire model until mm -hmm. that's finished with her looking over her shoulder. So yeah. there's that whole sense of flowing movement. It's mm -hmm. it's a beautiful figure to paint, it really is. Yeah, well, th this was the thing I was talking about with Roberto is that three D ness going from the two D is I can look at these miniatures from any angle, and I'm I'm still getting the sense of the the feeling that's trying to be projected from the sculpt, and that just makes me so happy. <laughs> Uh, now, my last one is actually my favourite one, Yeah, and I'm sure everybody can guess why it's my favourite one. So we have Kefri, and there's just something so joyous and barmy about this character. Yeah. Just the pose is very much at ease, but I'm going to lump mm -hmm. you on the head if you come near me. And oh, yeah. she... Just because she's smiling doesn't mean she's going to be your friend. Then, so, yeah, it's... <laughs> well, no, she, she's, she's going to smile and be very pleasant and polite. Yeah, yeah. While she knocks your teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> and fixes all your stuff. And exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I can imagine just uh, mounting the rest of the posse and her just standing there, just waiting very casually, just going, God damn it, I just fixed Just this. fixed that one, yep. <laughs> all right, I've got spare, spare, and that's where spare you're handle at. bars. Here we go. Yeah. But again, it's that, that mechanic feel that's being drawn into a combat situation. It feels like a very dysfunctional sort of family group that's just being brought together and are now going well we can make money together let's do this mm -hmm. uh overall beautiful sculpts beautiful paintwork uh this set in particular may disappear from the office i may have a go at building these because uh one thing i've noticed with the way you guys actually do the the breakdown of miniatures to actually put them together is a very organic way so it's it's one of the two choices you have whenever you're doing a sculpt you either make it very static very modular and throw in dynamism where you can with different post arms and things to go into that modular system or you go the whole hog and make them as dynamic as possible, make them as heroic as possible. Yeah. And yeah, the, the miniatures from Wild West, Ex Wild West Exodus, the plastics, are some of the finest in the industry that I've ever put together. Thank you. That's high praise. Thank that you. is high praise. Well, consider how many miniatures go through my hands. Yeah, that's high praise <laughs> indeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, Pleasure. Tell you what, everybody, get your comments in below. Is the Wayward Eight the posse for you? We will move on. We will see you again very soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.